So what's new in AI news today, and this is a really positive one. This is a good use of AI. AI has been shown that it could be used to diagnose pancreatic cancers earlier than traditional methods, which is huge. There are some concerns because you have to train AI models on data in order in order for it to perform certain tasks. So this particular AI model was trained on a data set, a large data set of patient records, medical history, genetic data, and even imaging results. So it had to be trained first, and then after it was trained, it was used in a case study to diagnose pancreatic cancer. The model itself was able to identify patterns and correlations that humans could potentially miss, leading to earlier detection in some cases. So let's check out this article and we'll dive into it a little bit deeper. All right. So AI could predict pancreatic cancer earlier or early in some cases study shows, which would be huge. Pancreatic cancer has one of the lowest five-year survival rates of any cancer, in part because late diagnosis, and this is what I said a little bit earlier in the open, late diagnosis is common. Could artificial intelligence change that? Research published in Nature Medicine in May suggests that AI screening of large groups of patients could make earlier diagnoses possible, which in turn could lead to earlier and more effective treatment of the disease. In the analysis, an AI tool successfully pinpointed people at elevated risk for pancreatic cancer by looking back at their medical history records or at their medical records, finding evidence of heightened risk up to three years before they were actually diagnosed. So, this kind of makes me think of Minority Report uh, a little bit. It's that that predictive model that can actually make a diagnosis or a prediction on someone's behavior, or in this case, their body's behavior, well in advance before something bad actually happens. I think that this is a fantastic use of AI. My concern and the concern of a lot of other people as we kind of go into this is one of the top concerns here is would this mean maybe a misdiagnosis in some cases and then people are treated with medicines and things that they may not need that could be harmful to their health or will this have a very low percentage a very low percentage of misdiagnosis so the the outcome would be more survival rates in people who may develop pancreatic cancer. Uh, Let's go down here a little bit. Uh, In in the real world scenario, the researchers write about 320 of every 1,000 people the AI model identified as high risk would go on to develop pancreatic cancer. So that's a pretty good percentage of diagnoses that could potentially help these people and prevent them from, you know, essentially losing their life. Uh, By targeting surveillance to high-risk patients, the tool could make screening more affordable, too. So with more efficient tools and less actual people involved, you know, this is we talk about the bottom line all the time when it comes to AI and efficiency. Uh, This could make some medical care a lot cheaper, which would be a good thing. Right now, the U.S. Preventative Services Task Force doesn't recommend screening symptom-free individuals for pancreatic cancer. Screening of high-risk patients is associated with a higher chance of long-term survival, however. And with most cancers, from what I understand, I'm not a medical professional, but what I know about diagnoses of cancers the earlier one of these, like prostate cancer, colon cancer, and in this case, pancreatic cancer, the earlier it's caught, the more effective the treatment, the more likely of survival. Um, and then it said an AI tool that can zero in on those at highest risk for pancreatic cancer who stand to benefit most from further tests could go a long way toward improving clinical decision making. 
said study co-author Chris Sander, a biologist who directs a Harvard Medical School lab devoted to using machine learning and other technologies to solve biological problems. So this is really good news. This is this is a very positive um, use of artificial intelligence. Again, the privacy concerns, the HIPAA Act. I think from my perspective, um, we would have to have some sort of an agreement. They said, you know, uh, researchers or whoever, my oncologist cancer centers would come to patients and say, hey, can we use your medical history for this AI model to be trained on? And I think a lot of people would be okay with that. They would sign off on that. I know uh, in my case, I would be more than happy to sign off on something like that because it might help other people. It's in the case of, you know, like an organ donor or something like that. Uh, you sign up not expecting to pass, but if you do or something bad happens, you might help another, save another person's life. So I think approaching this, if the medical community approaches this the right and correct way with patient, patient history, and asking for their permission to help save others, I don't see a problem going forward. And I think that this is one of those wonderful, wonderful uses of this technology that could benefit us all. So see you in the next segment.